Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just Parker here. Uh, so this week, uh, the topic of conversation was the Finnish education system. I did have a PowerPoint uh, to go with this, uh, or a Google slide, I should say, not really a PowerPoint. But for some reason, my computer is wanting to update Google. It's not allowing me on it, so I'm not going to pull it up. So basically, I'm just going to vocally talk, talk about this in this video blog that I'll post to my YouTube. I'll also post it to my Facebook and my LinkedIn accounts, too. So if you're friends with me on there, you'll be able to review it. And uh, as a little sidebar, uh, if you are friends with me on there, uh, please, please take a look at the video and comment. Uh, I would love to get some talk going about education systems from uh, different parts of the world uh, and, and how they uh, benefited those countries themselves. So uh, we're going to talk about the Finnish education system, but first I'm going to do a quote. Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. Uh, that's George Washington Carver. And why I think education is so important is education truly does allow us to grow uh, as individuals. Those who who oppose education and educating their youth and stuff are those who want to hold people down. Uh, and they know that if you get educated and that you're going to know that what's going on isn't right. So... With that being said, we're, we're going to jump into this. Uh, the Finnish education system, uh, about the 1920s, they started education reform in Finland. Uh, it grew uh, a little bit, uh, but really the impact started in the 1970s. Uh, Finland was suffering a, an economic uh, setback, basically, uh, the, in the 70s. And they knew that, uh, that, that education was going to be the key to changing this. And this is the reason why I want to talk. And I think that it was so successful is uh, if you if you look at economy and, and you look at education, those countries that have really good education usually have a really good economy. I believe education and workforce development in itself tie together. Uh, they're very important. Uh, they, they work hand in hand. And the reason why I'm saying this is, and I'm not really an economist, so those people who are, uh, if you want to comment on this, you can. Uh, but I feel that uh, a good economy is backed by an education. Because the United States in the 80s, let's take the 80s for example. We had a really good economy in the 80s, but we also had a really good educational system. So with that being said, they tie, they tie in together. Uh, second is stress. Uh, if you if you do look it up, up about the Finland's educational system, you'll notice that kids only go to school for like five hours. They get a lot of 15-minute breaks between classes. Uh, they have a lot of uh, longer recesses, and they have longer breaks, less homework. Now, they do have homework, but they have less homework. Uh, so I think the stress that we put on students today is why – I believe that they're starting to excel where we're starting to kind of go back. Uh, so that being said, my three minutes is up. That's really all I can do. So uh, like I said, comment on the link itself. Tell me what you think. Uh, I'd love to get a conversation started on this. You guys have a good day.